Look, I just wanted to show you how to multiply hexadecimal numbers. First, we have two abacuses. We have a decimal one at the top and a hexadecimal one on the hexadecimal one on the bottom. So, if you count in decimal on the abacus, it'll be one, two, three, four. Each one of these count as one, so that's four. The ones on top count as five. Then you add a one, will be six, seven, eight, nine, and then one zero or ten. And then it'll be 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and then 2, 0, 20. On the hexadecimal abacus, we have 5 on the bottom and 2 on the top. And the ones on the top count as 5 also. But before we get into hexadecimal numbers, we have decimal on this one, which would be like 1, 2, 3, 4, we ignore that bottom five one for now. After four, there's five, one of the ones on top. Then six, seven, eight, nine. Again, we ignore the one on the bottom. So we have five and four ones, which is nine. And then we bring down the second top one. The second five will be ten. Well, let me clear this out, sorry. So we bring the two on the top down. That'll be ten or A, but we'll call it A. Then A plus 1 is B, B plus 1 is C, C plus 1 is D, D plus 1 is E, and this bottom one, F. So F is two fives on the top and five on the bottom, which is 15 in decimal, but it's called F in hexadecimal. And then we have a 1, 0. It's not really a 10, because 10 in decimal is two fives, which is an A. So we'll have 1, 0. 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, 1, 7, 1, 8, 1, 9, 1, A, 1, B, 1, C, 1, D, 1, E, 1, F, and then 2, 0. So let's say you have uh, two numbers. Let's say you have a 1, B, a 1, B times 1, B, or 1, B squared. B is 11 in decimal, so we're going to put in a B in each one of these registers. As you see, we have three here, one, two, three, separated by these hair ties. So we have 11, 11, times up by itself. 11 times 11 is 121. So that's what B times B is in decimal, but we want the hexadecimal result. So we're going to divide 1 to 1 by 16, and the quotient and the and the remainder will be the number in hexadecimal. So how many times does 16 go into 121? Let's find out. We'll start a 1 here. So that's 16 into 121 one time will equal 105. Put in a 2 here. Subtract 16 from 105. That will be 89. Put in another 1. Minus 16. Put in another one, minus 16, put in another one, minus 16, another one, minus 16, and another one, minus 16. So we have a set, a quotient is 7 with a remainder of 9. So we're going to put the remainder first on this side of the hexadecimal abacus, a 9, and we're going to put a 7 into right next to it. So we'll have 9 and 7. The, the remainder goes first in the quotient, so 7, 9. Now, what's B times 1? B times 1 is B, so we're going to put in a 16 and minus a 5. So now we have 1 times B. 1 times B is B, so we'll put in a B. And then 1 times 1 is 1, put in that 1. So. 1b squared or 1 times 1b times 1b is 2d9. So that's how you multiply in hexadecimal. I hope that helps. Have a good day. Thank you.